Hey dudes, how you doing? It's dark. Jesus, where is this? Uh, hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are healthy. This is Saint, by the way. I saw that something new, Saints Row related, came out, and I need to look at it because <laughs> uh, people got on my on my because I for some reason didn't like Saints Row. I'm just gonna feed the bear and <laughs> and check what Saints Row is up to right now. I think it's gonna be fun, or at least it's gonna be a little bit laughable. So that's kind of what I want to do today. And yeah. I kind of recorded like a whole thing twice and I realized I can't really upload that because of my job. So yeah, this, this is what I got for you today, my bad. We're gonna look at this trailer. I haven't seen it, like this whole Criminal Ventures thing. I haven't looked at it. I just saw it on Game Ranks and I wanted to give it a look. And yeah, you're just gonna get my full reaction and we're also kind of gonna analyze and see, you know, where this game is kind of heading to an extent. So yeah, let's just... Let's get on with it. You know, if you like my personality, which is as likable as sunshine, you can go ahead and like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. I'd really appreciate it. Maybe you can't see me like winking because there's a big glare in my glasses, but I I'm winking. I'm flirting. All right. So let's get on with this. Ooh, I hope this doesn't start yet. Yeah, didn't start. Great. We're gonna get 1080p because we're not. Why? Why, Why did you start? Why did, why, I did, did I tell you to start? No, I didn't. We're ready for this experience, right? I think we are. Let's do this. Free alpha gameplay footage. Okay. Hi, I'm Jim Boone, Chief Creative Officer at Volition. We're excited to show you a bit more of one of our new Saint Row features, Criminal Ventures. This is where all our dreams come true. The Saints build a criminal empire from... This is where all our dreams come true. All right, so this looks like like a whole map of what we're gonna be able to kind of like deal with and what we're just gonna overall see in Saints Row. I can see a couple of interesting things. I mean, is this still like too light? We have Marina del Lago, uh, which for those of you who don't know Spanish, it's a Marina of the Lake. Uh, we also have Old Town, we have Mercado, which is basically grocery store. Rancho Providencia, which is basically Providence Ranch. Smelterville, wouldn't know how to translate that if it were in Spanish anyway. El Dorado, y you saw the movie at some point, I'm sure. If you didn't, it's a really good movie. It's animated, but it's great. I don't know, a hub of baddies. I think the Bikini Atoll Casino, the Marshall Tower, that Smelter Dome. I think all of those like three areas are going to be really kind of like filled with baddies. I would also expect it from that place over there. Viaje del Parnaso La Galeria. Okay, whatever that is. It's kind of like GTA-ish, very St. Rose-ish. Um, with some pretty like key places that you're going to be at. I think that bridge is going to be interesting too. Maybe something cool is going to happen. I don't know. I th it's, it's very central. So maybe, I don't know, you're going to get a cool scene, like action scene there or something like that. I don't know. But apparently this is what we're going to be looking at. It doesn't look very big, you know, not in my opinion. I think it looks actually kind of a little bit small. That's not necessarily something bad. I mean, as long as a world is interesting enough, it really doesn't need to be kilometers wide. Like this seems fine, uh, but it does seem a little smaller than maybe what we're used to this could also just be like one part of the map but from what i'm seeing it's kind of like square shaped so it wouldn't surprise me if like this is basically it anyway let's go ahead and continue the saints build a criminal empire from scratch criminal ventures represent our spin on organized crime operations in santa i dream a weenie nice Play first eat later as one of our main gameplay systems at Saints Row, it's central to how the Saints go from upstarts in the criminal underworld to ultimately running a full-scale criminal empire. You get to choose how your criminal empire takes shape. Which businesses you build and where you place them is up to you. And Jim Robs. Each of these criminal businesses come with their own characters, gameplay, and rewards. This sort of looks like GTA Online. I mean, not in a sense like not visually but like the idea like the concept of having like different types of businesses that do different types of missions and stuff like that it really does seem very gta-ish you know with the shop and this other like those warehouses where you bring in and 
it I don't know, it has a really strong GTA vibe, which I mean Saints Row, it's always been kind of like the idea to kind of like parody it, right? But this seems a little bit more serious maybe than what previous Saints Row games had done. So I mean it, it looks like a good idea. It looks cool. You know, you're just building your your empire and like you know buying different buildings and stuff like that and kind of like modifying them and doing missions with them i mean it's bringing that gta online thing to a single player experience which i can always appreciate maybe i'm not behind the characters i think they're kind of goofy for criminals you know but i do think that it i mean it's a cool feature. Let's look at just a few of the criminal ventures players will be able to operate, along with the gameplay that comes with them. With a bright future disposal facility, the Saints charge top dollar by illegally dumping corporations' toxic waste. Let's pretend is where you gather your crew to pull off heists, case the location, and serve as a getaway driver to escape the police. Okay. I mean, in all of my criticism, you have to admit that this looks kind of nice. I mean, the light's reflecting really nice. It looks looks a little bit more top tier than the last Saints Row game. I mean, you can tell that they put more effort into it and it's kind of like new tech. I mean, the reflections, the whole thing. The Shady Oaks Medical Center is a front for your insurance fraud scheme. Rack up hefty bills, then claim the cash as your own. Wow, okay, yeah, that's nuts. As players build their criminal ventures in the locations they want, they'll have a blast seeing our signature Saints Row twist on these criminal fronts. Completing each venture moves the Saints closer to their true goal of running a massive criminal empire. We could not be more excited to see which criminal ventures become your favorites, and we can't wait to show you more Saints Row. Okay. So here's a couple of talk points from what like that last thing looked like. So we're seeing that there's a lot in terms of variety of the places. Like, yes, it's what we talked about earlier about the map. It does look small, but it looks like a lot is jam packed into that smaller package. So I don't know if that's a bad thing. I don't think so. I mean, look at this. Look at this bar. What is this? A fashion laundry? I don't, I don't know. It says fashion at the end, but it looks really cool. I mean, look at the colors. It looks kind of like neon. Like, I, I really like that. I love that style. You could probably tell by my, <laughs> by my overall kind of like retro themed vibe. I really love that. See, from this kind of like point of view, it looks big, bro. Right? Like from this like kind of like standpoint, it looks like a, a pretty big city. Like, yeah, you're flying around and whatever. And that's obviously the goofiness of the game, but it looks big, right? It kind of looks like expansive. I like that in the background, you can kind of see certain elements that would never load <laughs> in like any other kind of like platform or generation or whatever, where you would just kind of like see it kind of disappear and it would just become an image there. You can actually see like these buildings kind of like top up there and i think it's really cool shows how much technology itself has kind of advanced so i'm really interested in it um from at least like a technological standpoint i think it's it's making some nice leaps and it's really kind of like progressing in that regard from previous saints row games do i think that it's going to be the most fun game ever story wise if I'm being honest, it's not really drawing my attention right now, but that's kind of like with what we've seen and what Saints Row has had as an identity up until now. I don't know if I'm going to be mistaken. Hey, I mean, maybe this game comes out and just ends up like blowing everyone's minds, right? So I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but to me, at least from what you're seeing here, and if this is not like super fabricated, it looks good, you know, like it looks like it, people poured their heart into it which is something that i really enjoy seeing you know they could do the whole cinematic trailers thing or do other stuff that aren't really all as informative as this is and i really like that they actually showed the world a little bit and had some actual gameplay footage so i, I can respect that you know I, I can respect that what do you guys think about this are you guys excited about saints row how do you feel about this whole like change in perspective i'm not a big fan of it but again i haven't played it so i'm gonna kind of reserve judgment a little bit up until the release of this game 
what do you guys think? Are you guys kind of like interested in it or does the change kind of like irk you out? But I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I upload videos every single week about tech or gaming. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at St. Wolven as well as join the pack on Discord. Thank you for watching my dudes and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.